Tim Ballard, who the movie Sound of Freedom is based off of, seems to be under some hot water now because of some allegations that have seemingly rised to the surface about him. And so with this guys, in today's video, I wanna discuss these allegations that have come up and what's circling around this, as well as our response to all of this. Uh, considering guys, all of this is allegations. Uh, I think the primary thing that we should all be doing as Christians and as uh, just people waiting and seeing is be in prayer for this entire situation. Be in prayer for Tim Ballard. Be in prayer for the quote-unquote alleged victims involved. Be in prayer for this entire situation because this could be devastating. Now, if you don't know what is going on, Tim Ballard apparently has sexually assaulted seven different women uh, while doing this underground uh, child rescuing from child slavery, sex slavery. So there's a lot to unpack there, but Tim Ballard is known for rescuing kids from child trafficking. Now, with that being said, apparently Tim Ballard brought other women in to quote unquote act as his spouse, his wife, to help keep them undercover even more. And with that being said, Apparently there are some images leaked or sent, not leaked, but sent to these people. Um, apparently he was asking the women how far they'd be willing to go and, and to the point of actually showering with these women, uh, laying in bed with these women, doing these sexual acts with these women to try and make it seem like, yes, they are married, they are totally together to fool the people that they were trying to fool. Now, this is messy and there's a lot to unpack, but as I said earlier, guys, we need to be in prayer because right now, this is all allegations. Uh, Tim Ballard came out twice and said, this is uh, totally a lie, this is not true, um, th this wasn't happening, this never happened, but it's more of like he said, she said kind of thing. And so, Let's just be in prayer. Um, let's be hopeful that this is not a situation where where there's smoke, there's fire. Uh, but uh, we do need to be alert. And this also leads me to, to when the scriptures tell us, you know, like, hey, not everybody should be uh, seeking to be an elder or a pastor or a deacon of a church because of the responsibility uh, that that holds. And so with that being said, guys, uh, there is a lot of responsibility to those who are in higher authoritative positions in, in the church. And so um, if you are struggling or if you are finding yourself weak uh, with maybe lust or drinking or drugs or something in that state, some, some type of sin that you find yourself weak in, get help, seek assistance and confess that to your elder board, to the people around you. So you don't fall into situations like this. We see it time and time again with pastors and leaders, and now we can potentially see it with Tim Ballard. But again, we need to wait and see what comes from this and what happens, but be in prayer.